Hi and welcome back to Sarah's Texture Crafts. Today we're going to be looking at our um, drafted nest and how we draw that onto our spindle and start to spin a yarn. Um, so far in our previous two videos we created our pre-drafted nest. So there it is again, the blue face Lester. Um, nice and, and thin pre-drafted nest which is going to be easy to take to our spindle and maybe draft a bit further if we want to do it finer but for today's purposes we'll just concentrate on setting a twist into that. And then we have our spindle as well, our top whirl spindle where we have also um, added our leader thread. So if I just move that to one side. With our spindle, our leader thread is probably I would say about 20 centimetres in length um, from the, the hook. Um, it's important I think to have a length like that from the top of your hook on your spindle purely because um, you want to start moving your twist into this section um, and creating a, a, a twist, what I call the twist zone. Um, this will become the, the base of your yarn and it will help to set the twist into the fibre as you draw it onto it. So when you're attaching the very first part of your fibre onto the leader thread already it's becoming quite a, a useful um, uh, and strong twist. That I think tends to give you a yarn with very little end wastage. Most spinners will find that the ends of their fibres, the ends of their yarn, sorry, um, can be quite weak so they tend not to knit with them. They tend to cut them off before they knit. Um, I find that if you leave your leader thread long, so you're creating quite um, a, a long uh, twist zone, if you like, um, that gives you um, a much better start to your yarn and much less wastage. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to take that nest that we nicely coiled and I'm going to wrap it around my wrist. So I'm going to take the start end and I'm just going to wrap it around my wrist so the same way that you did your coil to start with I'm going to just do that quite quickly so I'm wrapping it around my wrist quite loosely um, and the reason why I'm doing this is purely because I want to hold that drafted nest in an area that I can easily draw from um, you could quite easily have this on the side of your chair um, in a in a small yarn bowl or something like that while you work but I just find that there it's it's quick and easy to draw and draft from um, and I can do this on the move then I don't need to be sitting down I could be stood up on a train I could be um, on a bench in the park I could be in the office at my desk um, or again I could be home I could be in front of the TV and, and not just have a yarn bowl to hand so this is, it's quite nice to use what you have. Um, so I'm using my arm there, or my wrist, I should say. Okay, so I, I then leave a length, probably about 30 centimetres long, hanging from my wrist. I put the um, top end of that section through my, my fingers, holding it very gently with my thumb and then I grab my leader thread. The reason why we've looped the leader thread around so that we have two ends is quite simply so that we can take the end of our pre-drafted nest and just pop that in between and pull that tight so that the, um, the, the drafted nest end is, is pulled quite tightly and held quite closely by those uh, leader threads. So as you're setting the twist um, quite quickly, it's being forced into um, into the twist zone and um, sort of threading onto your spindle without falling off and, and finding that your spindle ends up across the room. So, I'm sorry, that's just come off my hook. So make sure that's onto your hook. You have the length there of your fibre in between your um, leader threads. If I just move now, <coughs> I'm just going to set that down 
and what I'm doing is I'm holding the top of the leader threads with the fibre between my forefinger and my thumb. I'm letting the uh, spindle drop down directly below me. Um, sometimes you can, it's easier to do this when you're standing up, but if you're sitting down like me for the purposes of this video, just make sure that your legs are equally parted um, and that you are putting, you are allowing um, the spindle plenty of room to move. Um, and then all you need to do is twist. Now what I'm doing there is a series, I'm going to be doing a series of flicks, so I'm just going to be twisting like that from underneath and letting the spindle start to spin. So, making sure that you're holding the top, spin, 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 and so on. And quite quickly, you'll see that it's starting to twist up quite nicely. Once you've got to a point where you feel that twist is quite tight, and you'll feel it in your fingers, the twist is travelling up from the hook, right up quite tight up to your forefinger and thumb that's when you know it's time to move your forefinger and thumb because the twist zone which is this length here from the um, hook to your your forefinger and thumb is is set that's tight so what I do is still continuing to hold that section I unhook I take the spindle just twist and let that yarn draw onto the shaft. Put your your yarn or your leader thread, whichever point you're at. I think that's a bit of both there. Back on to that nick in the whirl, straight through the hook again, and then let your whirl drop. Move your fingers up the the length twist. Move your fingers up, twist. Move your fingers up, twist. Move your fingers up so you've got um, an untwisted section and twist. Don't worry if it untwists too much, just be ready to catch your spindle and make sure you spin it back in the right direction. So again, unhook draw your, your new yarn around the shaft, place your, your yarn into the nick, up through the hook, let that go. I always tend to hold the top of the, the twisted section just so where I'm drawing from, um, from the fibre I'm getting an untwisted section. So I then put my, my uh, forefinger and thumb at the top of the section I want to spin, let go of the twist zone and spin, stop. Now you can do what they call a park and park and draft here so you can spin to a point where you feel you can spin no more, bring your knees together, pop the spindle through there, and this is probably easier if you're a beginner Grab the top of the um, spin zone, or twist zone. Put your finger, your your finger up the uh, the length of the fibres, um, and hold your your new area. Let go of the twist zone. Drop your spindle. Twist. Hold the spindle. Bring the knees together.